Hi, welcome to Edrop Spot and welcome to Union Testnet. Reward is not confirmed for Union Testnet, but then you have to do it knowingly. To get started with this testnet interaction, we are going to visit Union Faucet app.union.build slash faucet. You can find all the links I used in this video in the comment section for your convenience. Now in this testnet interaction, we are going to be needing two wallets, Kepler and Metamask. So once you get to the faucet, automatically it is going to ask you to add Union to your Kepler, so confirm. And just wait here for a couple of seconds, your wallet address will be automatically filled since you just connected your wallet. Then tap on submit and claim test token. Next up, after claiming Union Test Token, we are going to claim Sepolia 8, so I am going to visit sepoliafaucet.com. You need to be logged into our Kemi to use this faucet and you need to have at least 0.0018 minutes it on your wallet before you can use the faucet. Now once you've successfully claimed Sepolia 8, we are also going to claim Sepolia USDC. So we are going to be visiting faucet.circle.com for that. Paste your MetaMask address. Then tap on Send 10 USDC. It didn't go through at the first try, so I'm going to do it again. Tap on retry. Paste your wallet address, then tap on send 10 USDC. Token sent successfully this time. Now note that when you want to claim your Sepolia 8, you can actually make use of the faucet listed on the Union faucet, such as Covalent, Inferior, and Quick Note. I'm just somehow addicted to using a Kemi faucet, that is why I went ahead to use that. But then you can use any of the ones suggested below here. Next up, I'm going to open up my Kepler wallet and then import Union Testnet. So I tapped on the sidebar menu, then tap on Manage Invisibility. Then in the search bar, I'm going to search for Union Testnet. Then I'm going to have that box checked at the top right. Then tap on Save. Now we can check whether the test tokens have arrived. At the moment, it has not yet arrived. And it just came in now. Next, I'm going to visit app.union.build slash transfer to bridge between Sepolia and Union Testnet. So I'm going to choose my sender chain since I have more funds on Sepolia I want to bridge from there first. So I will choose Sepolia which is not yet connected. I'm going to tap on the wallet tab at the bottom right. The prompt is covering it but here it is. And then I'm going to choose Metamask. Now that I have both wallets connected, I am going to go ahead and then choose my sender chain, I will choose Sepolia, and my receiver chain, I will choose Union Testnet. Then in asset, I will choose the asset that I want to bridge, I will choose USDC. I will indicate the amount of USDC that I want to bridge from Sepolia to Union, then tap on transfer button. I'll wait for the approval prompt and then approve the transaction first. Then I'm going to confirm the transaction in my wallet.
now this stage is going to take about three to five minutes so i'm going to pause my recorder and then come back when it is done you don't need to do anything just leave it let it process I am going to make another bridging transaction, so I'm going to tap on the transfer tab at the, at the top of the screen. And this time around, I'll be bridging from Union Testnet back to Sepolia. So I'm going to choose Union Testnet as my sender chain and Sepolia as my receiver chain. And this time, I'm going to be bridging Union Token itself, UNO. I'll choose the amount of Union that I want to bridge to Sepolia. I have 0 0.084 so I'm going to try and bridge half of it. I'll tap on the transfer button. I'll approve the transaction in my wallet, in my Kepler wallet. But then this transaction failed and here is why it failed. If you read the error, the details on the error, it shows that the amount I was trying to bridge before is smaller than the amount that, that I am supposed to bridge. So what will I do? I went back to the faucet. You can see the faucet tab at the bottom of the screen. I went back there and then I claimed test tokens about two to three times more so that I can have enough for me to bridge. And if you check my balance now, I now have 0 0.02 UNO. So I'm going to go back to the transfer tab and I will redo my bridging transaction. Again, I'm going to be bridging from Union Testnet over to Sepolia. I'll be bridging 0.01 UNO. I'll tap on the transfer button. Then I approve the transaction in my wallet. The transfer is successful this time. No need to watch this part or try to wait for it. I'm just going to go ahead with the next interaction and that is to complete task on GAPS. So the tasks here are very simple as well, just social tasks. So I'm going to quickly log in, complete the tasks, then I'll be back. I am back. I'm going to switch to Polygon and then claim the oath for completing this task. I'll tap on claim one oath. And that's it. I heard that this testnet will be ending in 10 days although not confirmed. So if you have time, do it as soon as you can. It will only take about 20 minutes of your time to complete everything. So we have come to the end of Union Testnet tutorial. If you have any question, drop me a comment in the comment section. If you have found value, give me a like and also subscribe to my channel for more. You will find all the link that you need for this interaction pinned in the comment section for your convenience. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in another tutorial.